We are back with yet another fragrance haul, and this time we have a brand new diesel. This is Diesel D. We have Dolce Gabbana, Parfumster Marley, Joe Malone, Dior, Cobalt from Carolina Herrera, Ralph Lauren, David Doff, Givenchy. You know this is going to be damn good. Hi, welcome to Rotten Rebel. I'm here with the one and only Satasomo Fragrance. And we are back with yet another fragrance haul and this is going to be a lot of fun. So if you are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell and please do drop a like on this video. Thank you, I really do appreciate it. You guys know exactly what's going to happen right now. We are going to try out these and let you know how we feel about them. Now I do want to say that we actually have tried a few of these, at least yeah. I have. Uh, quite a few of these are brand new to you, right? Yeah. So some of these are fragrances that I used to have that I now bought a new bottle of. And some are brand new, like the one from Diesel, which I am going to do a review of. Let's start with the Diesel. Here you go. Please do spray it on. And I'm quickly going to read up the notes. So we have lavender, we have Madagascar vanilla, and we have ginger. So I just bought this one today. It's brand new. It's recently released. And I tried it in the store and I actually liked it. it was wasn't something that blew me away, but I really enjoyed it. So how do you feel about this one? So, yeah, I actually did test it in the store on your skin and also on a test strip. Mm. And I can advise you to try it on your skin because on the skin yeah. it's very much better. Yeah. This is like an aromatic, slightly sweet, kind of creamy one. Yeah. It's really nice. This one to me is sort of a warmish. It has that lavender. It has a bit of yeah. vanilla. Maybe that ginger in the background in a sort of a sweet and to me quite softish blend. Yeah. It's not sharp in any way. It just sits on your skin in a beautiful way. I think this one is really, really nice. How yeah, do you feel about it? I think it's great. And I'm going to say something weird now. Mm -hmm. I do pick up on the ginger and the ginger in this one reminds me of the ginger that you get as a side when you order sushi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. Wow, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, so what are we gonna give this one? Like a thumbs up, two thumbs yes. up? Is it a massive like? It's definitely a thumbs up. So let's move on to the next one. And the next one is Dolce Gabbana, the one Royal Knight. Please do Whoa. open it up. So the notes for this one are cardamom. We have basil, nutmeg, pear wood, amber, sandalwood, cedar, and labdanum. How's it going with the package? I hear you struggling. <laughs> I am struggling with the packages today. That sounded weird. Mm, yeah. <laughs> there you Thank go. Thank you. And yeah. Yes. I like it. I like it. Yes. So I'm curious how you feel about the original, the one, and how you feel about uh, the one EDP. Ah. I think you tried them both, right? Yeah, I tried them, but actually I have not tried them that much. So mm. yeah, they are good, but I can't say so much about them. Ah, okay. But okay. I definitely do like yeah. this. I do feel the one's DNA in this one, but maybe this is heavier on the spices. So a bit more spicy and maybe a bit more woody. How you feel about it is it really nice it's really nice yeah. this is this is like woody spicy creamy sweet really nice one definitely one you can use for any occasion but i would say that put this on going to dates yeah and exactly you will be what, what i was thinking this is this is like a date night scent it's really good if you enjoy uh, the original the one and want something that is different to it definitely make sure you try this one out so performance de Marley is one of my absolute favorite perfume houses in the world and i have quite a few favorites from the brand and this one is greenly now, this is not my first bottle of it. I gave my first bottle of it away and I sort of regretted Whoa. it afterwards. Now, I know my first bottle of it is in sort of safe hands, but I missed it so much that it was time for me to get a new bottle of it. But I do know that you have not tried this one. No, I haven't. And if you want to give that one away, I can take it. No, I can't give two <laughs> bottles away. Please do open it yeah. up. So we have green apple, Calabrian bergamot, mandarin orange, pedigreen, cashmere and pomero, cedar, violet, oak musk, musk and amber wood. So please do try it out. May I just say, I mean, look at these bottles. Yeah, they are so beautiful. So how do you feel about green? Oh, this is very similar to something else. Mm -hmm. This is like something between Sedley and maybe one of the white perfumes from YSL. Mm, this is this is so soft. Yeah. It's so nice. It's fresh. It's fruity. Yeah. It's light. So it's like fruity light, not fruity heavy or deep or no. anything like that. This is like 
subtly but a bit deeper and darker but it's still not a deep and dark fragrance. This so, is really good. yeah, just like Percival, just like Sadly, just like Leighton and pretty much all of the Parfums de Marlis, yeah. this one has something unique about it. It smells fantastic. You will smell yeah. great with yeah. it on. And no doubt, this is a mass appealing kind of scent. Most people yeah. will absolutely love it on you. This will be just Wonderful in the spring and in the summer. Oh my yeah. god, god, what a freshy. So what are you gonna give uh, Greenly? Is it like... This is like up with your thumbs. Okay. This is like four thumbs up. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So next one up is Jo Malone's Vetiver and Golden Vanilla Cologne Intense. So I do remember trying this like some time ago. Yeah. Uh, and the, the thing with me and Joe Malone is that I really enjoy Joe Malone scents, but a lot of them are so soft on my skin, which is the reason why I rarely buy them. But this one I had to have. Please do open it up. We have vanilla, vetiver, cardamom, tea, and grapefruit. Mm. Bottle. So there you go. And I'm getting the whiffs and they smells good. Yeah, this yeah. is gorgeous. Oh my God. This is, wow, this is like vanilla vetiver, a soft, soft, soft vetiver. Yeah. And with a touch of the green side of Montabaco Intensivo Whoa, from Ormond Jane. Interesting. Oh my God, I love this one. So if you love the scent of vanilla and vetiver, then this is like a no brainer. And if you are like me, that you don't enjoy overly green or vetiver heavy kind of scents, do not worry, this is not that. No. This is gorgeous. This is extremely elegant. This yeah. is so beautiful. So what are you gonna give this one? I'm gonna say that Oof. this is my favorite up until now. Whoa! Yeah. Next up we are moving to the House of Dior. This is Fahrenheit Cologne. I used to have a bottle of this. I finished up that bottle. Please do open it up. Yeah. I think the original uh, Fahrenheit is an epic, iconic scent. It's not for everyone. To some people, it's a bit polarizing, but I do enjoy it. And I absolutely love Parfum, which is quite different to the original. Yeah. How do you feel about those two? Uh, I love both. I do like the Parfum one even better. Mm. And I am so curious about this mm. one. We have Calabrian Bergamot, Sicilian Mandarin, Lemon, French Violet, Patchouli, Haitian Vetiver, Nutmeg, Virginia Cedar, and Caraway. So yeah. how do you find this one? Less sweet and more fresh than both the Parfum version and the original. Yeah. Very beautiful and I think perfect if you do like Fahrenheit but what, want something lighter and yeah. more fresh that you can use in the spring and in the summertime, definitely this one. I think yeah. it's really nice. Yeah, heavy on the violet, definitely has that brightness that really doesn't exist in any of the others. No. Uh, but you can definitely pick up some of the original in this one. Yeah. But that's sort of... um gasoline-like scent is is here, but it yeah. lacks that strength and yeah. intensity. This is like the gasoline you can pick up from um, like a small motorboat. Oh, okay. <laughs> and the okay. other is like the gasoline you pick up at a gasoline station or a car. It's that Fahrenheit, but with that sort of a brightness. Yeah. And that brightness in this one, I think is really nice. Yeah. So what are you gonna give this one? Many thumbs up. So the next one is truly an exciting one and it's one that a lot of you guys have been suggesting me to try out. This is Carolina Herrera Bad Boy Cobalt. And please do open it up. Yeah. And when I saw the notes, I was like, okay, you are probably going to love this. I'm gonna read up the notes. We have pink pepper, lavender, we have plum, geranium, yeah. truffle, vetiver, cedar, and oh, come on. And you love plum. You had me at plum. So that's the bottle. Oh, this is the kind of fragrance that makes me wish I was a man mm -hmm. so I could smell like this. Oof. This is so good. Yeah, I mean, this is the stuff that really turns me on. That plum, together with the woody notes, this is so beautiful. It's sexy, it's elegant, it's masculine, but still yeah. soft. It smells gorgeous. Yeah. I love this. If you have not tried cobalt, come on, what are you waiting for? Sexy. Ralph Lauren Polo Cologne Intense. Minty, fresh, citrusy, slightly woody, something greenish. 
Yeah, it's a nice one. I currently feel that this one is a nice one, but it doesn't blow me away. It feels a bit... Um... It lacks of personality. It's not so interesting, but it's definitely a good, like, office yeah, scent, yeah. everyday reach. Yeah, Just definitely. easy to wear and smell good. Yeah, like you said, you are most likely going to be able to wear this anywhere. And most people are probably going to think that you smell nice, but I doubt that a lot of people are going to go like, oh, fuck, this is sexy yeah. as hell. So yeah, based on both of our uh, reactions, um, it's okay, right? It's, yeah, it's definitely, it's yeah. good, but it's not great. Next up, we have Davidoff Cool Water Parfum. Spray it on and we have lemon, pink pepper, Haitian vetiver and sandalwood. How do you feel about this one? Yeah. Really good. This is so fresh. It's slightly like aquatic in some way. It reminds me, it's not the same, but it reminds me of Nautica Voyage. Mm -hmm, interesting. Which is an amazing one. Something woody, something citrusy, yeah. something greenish. Maybe it's the vetiver. This one is a fantastic yeah. release. It smells great. So what are you going to give Cool Water Parfum? Mm -hmm. This is a great fragrance. And this is the kind of fragrance that I know that every time you put on something like this, you get my compliments. Yeah. Every time. We definitely need to do a comparison between all of them. Yeah. I really enjoy this one. You really enjoy yeah. this one. Let's move on. Next up is a fragrance from uh, Givenchy. She's gentleman collection and this is the Eau de Parfum. Okay. Now you and I have already done a comparison. I'm gonna link to that one above featuring the EDP and both yeah. of us really enjoy it. Yeah. And the reason why I bought a new one is because I finished the bottle. Yes, I absolutely love the gentleman Givenchy collection of men's fragrances and this is a fantastic release. We have black pepper, lavender, bergamot, oris, Club, cinnamon, black, vanilla, husk, total balsam, mm. tonka bean, benzoin, and patchouli. Yeah. And yeah, there you go. Aromatic, creamy, Oof, spicy. Yeah. It's so good. I mean, yeah, this is so good. I love this. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Yeah. Extremely elegant. Powder fragrances is sexy on Oof. a man. And yeah, I mean, come on, this is gorgeous. I absolutely love the EDP. So we usually wrap up our fragrance hauls by choosing our sort of a favorites. So which are your like top three of these? This is really hard because there are a lot yeah. of great fragrances in front of us. Givenchy Gentleman, the EDP yeah. would be my choice mm -hmm. if I hadn't already smelled it and knew that I love it. So mm -hmm. I'm go not going to go with that one this okay. time. Okay. But of course, Jo Malone's Vetiver and Golden Vanilla, this is a beauty. Of course, Greenly. Yeah. I mean, so nice. you can never ever go wrong with the Parfums no. de Marly no. and here we have one. And of course, this beauty. I could mention this as well, mm. but I'm gonna go with Cobalt. And this is so interesting good. because I feel that I also need to pick Cobalt. Cobalt ah. was a fantastic one. Greenly, come on, Parfums yeah. de Mali smells gorgeous. And the third one is really hard because this is a fantastic release from uh, Dolce Gabbana. Your heart is here. Yeah, and I was really impressed by Davidoff Cool Water yeah. Perfum. I, I mean, come on, this is an epic yeah. release. But I'm gonna say it like you. Okay, this one we already know that we love. Yeah. So in a way, I'm also choosing that one. But shh, let's just, <laughs> and I'm gonna go with John Malone's. So this one blew me away. It's a gorgeous composition. So yeah, we picked the same top yeah. three make sure you like this video thank you i really do appreciate it make sure you subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell and make sure you head on over to sana's roman fragrance channel i'm gonna link to her channel in the description below sub to her sub to me and i'll see you in the next one bye, bye.